My name is Tom Igo, and I'm an arts professor at ITP uh, in the Tisch School of the Arts at NYU. And uh, I teach physical computing. And what that means is that we teach students here to think about computers uh, in the same way you think about yourself. You have a body, and you can't not use that body to interact with the world. Likewise, a computer has a body, and you interact with it through that. You touch the keys, you speak to the microphone, you look in the camera you look at the screen, you listen to the sound. And so just as you have senses and you have a voice, the computer has senses and a voice, so to speak. Um, and what we teach students is that you don't have to accept what the computer is as a given. You can design that. Um, electronics allow you to do that. So you can build a different interface than a keyboard or a different interface than a touch screen. Um, and where we really start is to get students to think about the fact that Everything you do starts with your own intention and your own action. So when you start to think about why I'm using a computer in a particular task, you think, well, what, what's the physical activity of that task? What do I need? What am I going to do? And um, what does the computer need to sense about that activity? And we teach them how to build the device that'll, that'll answer that. And in a larger picture, it's part of what we do here as a whole. We really teach people to learn through doing things. Um, we try to give them just enough background in any given field so that they can start on things and probably make a mess because we find that you, you learn about why it's important that a particular principle exists um, when you need it. So, you know, you don't really understand gravity until you fall. Uh, likewise, you may not understand why you need a particular computing concept until it's the only thing that'll do the job for what you're making. Um, and so we, we got, try and get students building things as soon as possible or programming things as soon as possible or making video or audio as soon as possible. Um, and for me, that's always been important. Uh, you know, I came from a background in theater arts and it was the same thing. You know, you, you, don't, um, you don't start by learning the history and then reading all the plays and then finally starting on stage. You start in an acting class. That's the first thing you do in your first year. And then you start in a stagecraft class and you work backstage. And you work on other people's work in a very apprentice-like way. Um, and I think we often miss that in higher education, especially in universities. Uh, it's important to get students doing things because then they figure out why they care about it. Um, you can tell them why you care about it, but you can't give them meaning. You know, they have to find that for themselves. And so in trying things and doing them and in, um, in s failing at doing them, uh, you start to figure out why it is you enjoy it, uh, you start to figure out who it is you're doing it for, and you start to figure out why you want to keep learning. And I think that's really central to everything we do here at ITP and for me everything in education. Mm -hmm.